video will be covering the logical reasoning section specifically about one specific type of question that they will always ask you on the exam, which are conditional statements. So what exactly is a conditional statement? Uh, if you actually have done previously uh, practice of uh, specialized high school exams, you'll see on the logical reasoning sections they always ask you some type of if and then question, right? And that's a conditional statement. If I practice for the exam, then I will go to a specialized high school. That's what you call a conditional statement. So let's go ahead and review briefly what a conditional statement is. So let's, let's take a very simple example. Uh, if I eat my vegetables, then I will go to the movies. What you have to understand from the if-then statement point of view is that if is your hypothesis, right? This is your hypothesis, if I eat my vegetables, and then the then statement is your conclusion. Conditional statements always have a hypothesis section, a hypothesis statement, followed by a conclusion statement. So if I eat my vegetables, which is your hypothesis, then you can conclude that you will go to the movies. And on the exam, they will give you, if you're very lucky, they will give you just one if-then statement, but chances are you will see at least, uh, you'll see two statements. So you'll have two if-then statements, and the question will always ask you, what is true? What must be true? What valid conclusion can you draw from the above statements? Okay, now how do we exactly draw a valid statement uh, uh, from this statement over here, right? Uh, the thing you have to understand is whenever you see this, okay, here's the easiest trick, okay, even if this video is slightly confusing to, confusing to you, pay attention to this part, okay? All you have to do for these types of questions is take the contrapositive statement, the contrapositive statement of the conditional statement, so the contrapositive statement, and the contrapositive statement is the exact same thing as the conditional statement, and we do it in two ways. If you want to find out the contrapositive statement of this statement, what you have to do is you have to negate and switch the following statement, and as soon as you do that, that is a valid conclusion. This statement will hold true for this statement over here. I know it sounds a little bit confusing right now, but it will make much more sense when we actually do it ourselves, okay? So let's go ahead and negate first this statement over here. It's very easy to negate means simply do the opposite of. So if I eat my vegetables, right, what's the opposite of that if I do not eat my vegetables? So if I do not eat my vegetables, I do not eat my vegetables. I won't write it out so I don't want to waste time, but if I do not eat my vegetables, then I will not go to the movies. I will not go to the movies, okay? Are we done? Is this a contrapositive statement yet? No, it is not, right? We did only one component of this rule over here. To make a contrapositive statement, you must negate and switch. Oftentimes, a lot of students will either just switch it or just negate it, but you have to do both, okay? The test will try to trick you, and they'll have options where they go ahead and give you answer choices with just the negating out part, or they'll just switch the if-then statements. Don't be fooled by that. This, these are very easy questions to get correct on the exam. So now we have to switch these statements. Super simple. You always keep your if and then statement as false. So if something, then something, and you're simply switching it now. If I do not go to the movies, if I do not go to the movies, then I do not, or I have not eaten my vegetables, right? I will not, I have not eaten my vegetables. Once again, you switch it. If I do not go to the movies, then I did not eat my vegetables. And that is a valid statement, and that is most likely your answer. So let's go ahead and try to do one more practice problem over here. Okay, let's say, if I practice for the exam, then I will go to a specialized high school. Okay, 
This is our statement. What valid conclusion can we draw from the statement? Let's see. Is this true if I say, here's one of the answer choices to say, if I go to a specialized high school, then I practiced for the exam. Is that true? If I go to a specialized high school, then I practice for the exam. I mean, most people, it, it sounds right, but it's not really right, actually. This is your hypothesis statement. And if you do this, then your conclusion is correct. This is valid. But if we take a look at this statement, it is not 100% correct. This does not have to be true. In fact, it, it does not have to be true. So this is an incorrect choice. Once again, the only valid conclusion you can make is taking the contrapositive statement of this original sentence over here. So we must go ahead and, and negate and switch them. So let's go ahead and do it. It's very simple. Once again, once you do a few of these, you can do it without doing this step over here. It's really quite simple. Uh, you can switch it mentally in your head. So if I go to a specialized high school, then I will, then I have practice for the exam and now negate it. So what I'm doing right now is switching and negating it. So the real conclusion that I can make from this, what must be true is, if I did not go to a specialized high school, then I did not practice for the exam. Once again, if I did not go to a specialized high school, then I did not practice for the exam. That is going to be the answer. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at uh, two or three practice examples. So let's go ahead and take a look at this question. If Kawhi plays soccer, then he will play the forward position. If he plays the forward position, then he will score at least one goal. Okay, our immediate step, as we already know, is we want to take these statements and turn it into a contrapositive statement because we know that those statements are valid. How do you do that? Switch and negate. Switch and negate. So let's go ahead and try that. So I'm going to have two if and then statements. So if he will play the forward position, but I'll do it both at the same time. So I'm going to switch it plus negate it so we save more time. If he, so instead of if he will play the forward position, it will be if Kawaii, if Kawaii does not play the forward position, then he does not play soccer. Okay, and immediately you want to go to your next sentence over here. If he plays a forward position, then he will score at least one goal. Go ahead and try to do that yourself. Uh, if he does not score at least one goal, then he does not play the forward position. So let's go ahead and write that down. If he does not score at least one goal, then he does not play the forward position. Okay, now what, what, what do we see over here? What can we, uh, what is the question asking? What must be true, okay? Do not be fooled by some of the answer choices that you'll see on the real exam and also various practice questions when you do these types of questions. The keyword is must. What must be true? These statements must be true, okay? So if something sounds right, make sure, you know, uh, make sure it's, it's, it's uh, properly answering the question, okay? Because some answer choices can be very tricky. So let's go ahead and try to do this. If Kawhi is not playing the forward position, okay, if Kawhi is not playing the forward position, then he will not score any goal. Let's see. But here it's saying then he does not play soccer. If he does not score at least one goal, then he does not play the forward position. This doesn't sound entirely correct, or this is not, I'm not getting this answer from these two statements, so I will cross it off. If Kawhi plays any other sport, he will also play forward. Okay, this is all automatically off the back incorrect. We're not talking about other sports. Don't go ahead and assume that. If Kawhi is not playing forward, then he will not play soccer. Let's go ahead and take a look at our uh, two statements. If Kawhi does not play the forward position, then he does not play soccer. Lo and behold, automatically, this is a clear match for answer choice C. So the answer must be C. D, Kawhi was not always able to score every game. Once again, automatically you can cross that off. This does not have to be true at all. Or anyways, uh, it, it's, it's clearly obvious that 
this you can automatically eliminate. And same for, with E. Kawhi is the best scorer on his team. Once again, this statements, these two statements say nothing about that. So go ahead and make sure uh, you try more of these types of problems. Let's go ahead and take a look at another question. All right, so over in this question, what's the question saying? If Jared goes to the store, then he will not go out for dinner. If Jared does go out for dinner, then he will not get home until after 8 p.m. Once again, you already know the deal. The question is asking you what must be true. You want to go ahead and find the contrapositive statements for both of these uh, conditional statements over here. So right off the back, if, so instead of will not, if he does go out for dinner, if Jared goes out for dinner, then he does not go to store. Second sentence over here we have, if, so if he does not get home, so if he does get home, so until after 8 p.m., so basically now if you want to negate that, it becomes if he does get home before 8 p.m., if he does get home, before 8 p.m., then, so instead of does go out, he does not go out. Then he does not go out for dinner. All right, so now, once again, make sure you read all the answer choices and see what can we say must be true, which sentence must be true. And you always want to refer back to your two statements that you've written down over here. And if you go down all the answer choices, you'll see that the answer choice should be D. If Jared gets home at 7 p.m., then he must n have not gone out for dinner. Which, uh, to, which one of these statements best uh, tells us that answer choice D is our answer? This over here. If he, does, if he does get home before 8 p.m., so if he gets home before 8 p.m., in this case, Jared gets home at 7 p.m., then he does not go out for dinner, then he is not going, he's not going out for dinner, therefore, this statement must be true. All right, here's one last question we'll take a look at. If Teresa gets an A on her upcoming test, then she will go to a water park. If she fails, then she will be punished. If Teresa gets a B, then what do we know? Okay, I'll try to do this one mentally in my head. Let's go ahead and try to get the contrapositive statements. If she does not go to a water park, then she does not get an A on her upcoming test. If she is not punished, then she does not fail. If Teresa gets a B, then what do we know? Try to pause the video and try to um, get the correct answer choice yourself. So, let's see. She will not go to a water park. If Teresa gets a B, she will not go to a water park. Well, let's see. If she does not go to a water park, she did not get an A. Okay, don't be confused. The trick answer choice over here is A. A is not the correct answer choice because we don't know what happens if she gets a B. This only says that she does not go to a water park if she does not get an A. We can't assume anything else. Therefore, this does not have to be true. Let's see answer choice B. She will not get punished. If she is not punished, then she does not fail. What's, what's a failing grade? Is B failing? Once again, we do not know, so therefore B is incorrect. She will try harder the next time. Completely irrelevant, right off the back. Teresa didn't want to go to a water park. Makes no sense. Once again, completely irrelevant. The statements say nothing about this. Therefore, the answer choice is E, none of the above. Thanks for watching the video. Please be sure to check out our book on Amazon, the Specialized High School Test Prep book. This book comes with five full-length exams with answer explanations along with a manual uh, to go ahead and better prepare you for the exam. You will find the link uh, on the video or in the description above. Have fun studying.